bonus content for all the live listeners at Wager Talk TV, watching Wager Talk today, every day, noon Eastern time. I'm Lawrence Presman, and I've got a pick for you on the Sunday night football matchup between Kansas City and Atlanta. And this is a client play. So I don't normally give these ones out. I love this play. Before we get into that, I want to point out that I think we only have a couple of days left of our early bird promotion for NBA and NHL. And guys who have followed me and know me, I have built a reputation on NHL betting. My NHL has been outstanding. Um, And if you're going to play me in NHL, buy it now. $595 for the entire season. With that said, it is my NBA the last two years that has absolutely dominated. I'm up 95 units in two years of NBA betting. And again, if you are going to play my NBA for the season, grab it now. Only five ninety five. dollars Okay, let's get into this game. Kansas City playing Atlanta. And, you know, when I did the NFL presidential address, Kansas City was minus four and a half. I I knew that line was not going to last. It just felt like a wise guy play of the week, and it really is. Now we have Atlanta at plus three and a half. And guys, I'll tell you right off the bat, I love this spot for Atlanta. More importantly, I hate this spot for Kansas City. So let's get into this game. Uh, Pacheco is out till week seven. Edwards Alaire isn't playing. This team is running back issues, and that is a big issue because it sets up the pass. It also opens up the slot for Travis Kelsey. If they do not have a balanced offense, I don't expect Kansas City's offense to be world class. That is a huge loss for them. Now, let's talk about the spot that Kansas City finds themselves in. Kansas City started the season playing two major rivals. Both Baltimore and Cincinnati are going to be vying for home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Now, I know that didn't end up the way it did, but Baltimore down two games already. But in game one, Kansas City was expecting Baltimore to be playing against them for home field advantage. Same within game two against Cincinnati. So here we have a situation where Kansas City had to have a very high emotional state to play both Baltimore and the Bengals. And then they get on the road and they go and they play out of conference against Atlanta. Who cares? With the 2-0 and o division rival LA Chargers waiting in the win, win next week. That is what Marco calls a sandwich game. And this is exactly what it is. Kansas City, after two huge emotional victories against two huge rivals on the road with a huge game coming up the following week. Terrible spot for Kansas City. On top of that, they are lucky to be 2-0. and This team easily could be 0-2. The Ravens dominated Kansas City. They bore 99 more yards in Kansas City in the game. And they literally missed a chance to win the game by a toenail. As for the Bengals, Kansas City was one pass interference call away from losing that game. Now, as for the Falcons, there is a lot to like about this team. First off, Kansas City, as we spoke about, is in a horrible spot. But think about the spot that Atlanta is in. This is an Atlanta team that was just about to be 0-2 and looking forward to to their next game to try turn their season around. Not anymore. After an incredible, mind-blowing brain cramp after fart, after diarrhea from a horrible coach in Philadelphia, they marched down the field. Philadelphia didn't play prevent defense. They made up a defense, dropping their safeties so low. Atlanta gets the win, gets out of Philadelphia. They have to be feeling incredible about themselves. They turned their entire season around in two and a half minutes of football. They are going to be rolling now. Okay, so where are we at? Well, 
I've given you everything. I really like this Atlanta team. I think they're in a great spot. I think they're feeling good. They're emotionally high. I don't like the spot Kansas City is in. I think there's going to be an emotional dump. It's a letdown spot. It's a sandwich spot. I think Atlanta wins this game outright at plus 150. I would prefer you take the points only because the hook is there at plus three and a half. But if this line drops to Atlanta plus two and a half and minus 140, take them on the money line.